Yo, what is Chef Mayhem doing on that side? That looks like good fun. Oh, it's Mario. <laughs> it's a Mario. A dove is in Mario's mouth. Mustache. I don't know. <laughs> that looked hilarious. Looks like uh, Chef Mayhem has a dove skin for uh, um, their uh, games. All right, we got our seed in. This is a uh, Conduit 23 match between Chef Mayhem and Meds Vehonic. Chef and Meds. Uh, both of these are experienced runners of the Cadence, so I expect to see some, uh, some good levels of play from both of them. And we are off. Meds, of course, is a giant bear. And uh, Chef Mayhem is uh, looks like a mini dove sprite. <laughs> I like it. Oh, early earn. Uh, Meds finds it right away. Uh, Chef going the wrong way for it. We'll see if Meds is able to open it, but a 1-1 one, one earn, while really nice to open, uh, sometimes it's a little difficult to do that. And we might just see Meds move on. We're not seeing any bomb traps or spike traps to help her along, so uh, I think we might just skip it. Well, there's two spike traps there, but it would take a very long time to get that over there. We'll see what our racers decide to do about this urn. I'm thinking they might just skip it, uh, but we'll see. Looks like both of them are trying to figure out something to do with it, and Meds is just finally gonna move on. So, Chef has the advantage. They, they might have seen Meds find those spike traps, but... You can spend a lot of time trying to open that urn, and sometimes it's not the greatest. But Chef finds a 1-1. One, one. Oh, wow! A 1-1 one, one black chest has the electric dagger in. Meds is going to miss that. That's a re really nice weapon to get on 1-1. One, one. Um, if you saw your opponent pick that up, might consider switching or uh, resetting. Meds finds a blood shop on 1-2 here, and it's not a bad blood shop. It's a... Uh, Got the Squega suit in it, the light plate, and uh, a heal spell, so Meds is going to kill the shopkeep for that. That's a really good uh, defensive build going already, but Chef Mayhem is going to have the offensive advantage with that weapon. We'll see if Chef finds that blood shop. I'm assuming Chef has seen what Meds was doing, and there it is for him. Good use of the blood drum on Meds' side, taking out that dragon in one hit. Now, I'd really like to see Meds use that blood drum a lot here. Uh, with the heal spell along the way, should be able to use it really well in tandem. But this is going to be a long coral rift fight, so Meds is really going to be hoping for a weapon find in the black chest after this fight. We'll have to do it flawlessly first, and doing just fine. And using the blood drum again there. Very well done by Meds to get that flawless victory. We'll check that black chest. Obsidian Axe. <laughs> nope, Glass Sphere. Not the greatest of uh, exchanges, but more damage in Zone 2 is real nice. We're going to be killing pretty much everything. And also open them barrels and them crates. There's a 2-1 black chest here. Uh, it's probably not going to be anything too great. Yeah, it's just uh, the chain mail. I'm going to leave it behind. Not going to put it under the squagga suit. Oh, Chef having the uh, leprechaun get away from him. It's time wasted. And uh, feels bad, man, too. Ooh, but finds a, a crown of thorns in um, a crate there, so even more healing. And now Chef's in the same situation. I'd like to see Chef use uh, the blood drum a lot, especially with all those healing options. Meds finds a conjure shop, and uh, conjures a ring to get the ring of strength. Tried for a weapon, but on 2-1, you're only going to get your base weapons. They're going to keep the uh, glass sphere for the time being. And another slow coral rift. 
for Chef Mayhem. Uh, both of our racers are using their bombs to get in the blood shop and kill the blood shop people. Chef's not going to use the uh, blood drum here. It only has to hit Coral Rift twice, so... Saves a little bit of time with it, but... Meds is pulling head here on 2-2, just as Chef Mayhem is going to be checking the purple chest, I'd presume, here. Finds the Earth spell. Welcome to Earth. Really good find for Chef. Another advantage uh, to offense for Chef. Meds finding a transmute shop here. Doesn't have any money to transmute, so might spend the time to get it. Uh, really looking for a better weapon than that glass, I presume. Chef finding that conjurer shop, deciding on what to do. Also conjures that ring of might. <laughs> Using that earth to push the the Minotaur back. Well done. Uh, Meds is just going to uh, conjure both a shovel and a weapon. So it gets a Old Faithful, the two damage titanium longsword, three damage with that ring of might, and gets uh, the battle shovel. We're so getting a little more offensive. Uh, does see a Shrine of Peace on 2-3. We'll see if Meds does anything with that. Might almost be worth it just to switch out uh, to the Ring of Peace. But it looks like Meds is just going to skip it. Uh, Chef Mayhem finding that Transmute Shop on 2-2. See if they try or decide to Transmute anything. Looks like he's just going to skip it. And Meds is down to your Zone 2 boss first. You're gonna have your King Kangas. Both of our racers got rid of the blood drum, it looks like, for the cheese on 2-2. Two, two. Um, I don't really like that switch out. Like I was saying, both of our racers have uh, healing possibilities with that heal spell and the crown of thorns for Chef Mayhem. I'd like to see him kind of use the blood drum to their advantage. Uh, Medzvikonik checking the purple chest there after the flawless victory finds a transmute spell and going right through 3-1 into 3-2 finding the mini boss there is quickly too meds is going to try to push a lead gonna check this tier 3 crack wall it's the food shop so maybe that cheese will be worked in with some gluttony we'll see Has to clean up a swarm before going in. It's just an apple food shop, but uh, the gluttony charm is going to work just fine with the cheese. Chef taking a long time in this 2-3 uh, here. Finally finding the Banshee. And we'll be going down the stairs here shortly, but Meds is already a full zone ahead. Full depth ahead. On 3-3. Three, three. Gonna check out this Mimic on 3-3. Always could have something spectacular. And that's a that'd be a better weapon upgrade for meds. Um, Obsidian Spear. It's almost like having uh, Old Faithful, but you can throw it. Looks like meds is just gonna keep Old Faithful, though. Chef Mayhem finally making it down to uh, Zone 2, or Zone 3. He's gonna have a quick go of it, too. Finding a... Uh... Ooh, but goes the wrong way. Actually, doing just fine on 3-2. Uh, Looks like Chef is going to try to do the same thing Meds was doing, getting into that uh, food shop. Meds is down to his own three boss. Death Metal. See, this is where I would like to see both of our racers had kept their uh, blood drum. That's going to be a one-hit kill for uh, on Death Metal, but Meds en ends up having to do three hits and misses one, so uh, no false victory. But down to zone four. Has the... Uh, luck charm so it does not have to worry about bats and chef mayhem is going to have to start looking for uh, quicker exits here they do want to do a full catch up on meds not too bad of a teleport monkey for meds wasn't intentional but uh, didn't go too far away and got a free check in their shop for 4-1 didn't find anything they liked though and Chef Mayhem finally making it down to Death Metal in Zone 3, just as Meds gets into 4-2. Claws victory for Chef Mayhem. They are going to check the red chest, finds a torch of walls, 
So kind of some mapping. Um, I think I would have kept the Infernal Torch. Uh, you pretty much know where you're going in uh, Zone 4, Zone 5. And you can have that extra offense with the Infernal Torch. But Zone 5, it can be helpful to have uh, the extra help with mapping. You can sometimes get turned around trying to figure out where you're going. Med's finding a potion on 4-2, uh, really good get for her. She is going to uh, be super safe now, moving down to 4-3. As Chef Mayhem cleans up the Red Dragon on 4-1, we'll be going down the stairs after the Sakaf guy gets blown up. <laughs> Med's getting in trouble with a few Telemonkeys here in Zone 4, but uh, not causing too much of a problem. Not getting, like, teleported all the way back to the beginning. And Meds will be down to the Zone 4 boss. It's going to be uh, the Unholy Moldy. Jeff Mayhem found that potion too, so both of our racers probably won't die. Um, they both have really good armor, healing, and the potion. So looking real good. Med's getting Fortissimal off that stage and taking him down, getting the Flawless Victory. Looks like both of our racers do have over three bombs, so do have enough for the Necker Dancer fight. Med's checking the red chest after the Flawless Victory, finds the Armor Charm. So getting up to Heavy Plate status can pretty much just smash face on everything here. And there's that electrical dance all those skeletons are going to get from Chef Mayhem's uh, dagger. And does get the Flawless Victory on Fortissimal as well. Chef Mayhem might want to skip the chests, and that's what Chef Mayhem is going to do. We'll have to push a little bit here through Zone 5. Uh, Meds is uh, in the mini boss room for 5-1. It's a horizontal blue dragon. Meds is having a little bit of a problem with it, but does back off after being frozen twice. Gets the victory and will be moving down the stairs, but uh, Chef has caught up. And has just killed the blue dragon too, and might even get in the stairs quicker than meds. Yeah, Chef taking over meds in 5-1 uh, here. So this is now where the Torch of Walls is helping Chef Mayhem. Um, able to just look at the minimap and see that the exit is just uh, a few digs away and skips most of the floor that meds is, has to go through. Mayhem down to 5-3 first, just as Meds is getting into that 5-2 mini boss room. But Meds is keeping it close, keeping the pressure on. It is time to start smashing face against some of these enemies, uh, sacrificing some health to go a little bit faster. Uh, it's definitely an option when you have so much armor and heal spell potion. And it looks like that's what Meds is doing, that's what I like to see. It also looks like Chef is doing the same. Uh, Chef down to Dead Ringer first. We'll see if we use the Earth spell to take it out. Looks like that's gonna happen. Oh, yep, doing the diagonal earth. The double diagonal, well done by Chef Mayhem. Meds down into the Dead Ringer fight here too. Uh, going to do the Japanese strat. And does it almost flawlessly. Does get it done, had to do a few couple extra beats there, but both of our racers are on Necker Dancer. Like I said before, they both have enough bombs to take out the stage. Chef Mayhem in stage two first. And Meds tanking some hits here from the bombs. It's a really good play by Meds. That's what I'm talking about, sacrificing some health to go a little bit faster. And this is going to be a nail-biting end. Meds on two hits. Chef going for their fifth. I think this is going to be Chef Mayhem's win here. Oh, but Med's getting some good teleports there. It's catching up. Needs a good teleport for Meds to get this last hit in. And looks like it's not going to be quite enough. Really close race by both of our racers. Just a few seconds behind. Meds finishing with a 1302. Chef with a 1255. 1315 race time. Really good. Uh, showing by both of our racers. Exactly what I expected to see. Really excited to see that from both of them. But that's going to be a first loot over for the red team. That's Mayhem taking it. GG.
All right, we'll get on to our next seed of this match. Once again, this is not a best of three. Uh, our racers are race racing for points. And then at the end of the week, whoever has the most points at the end of the week. That was a fun sentence. <laughs> uh, those racers will be chosen to participate in the Conduit 23 tournament. So each racer trying to get victories here. Get some points up. You usually want to have at least six points going into the weekend. Uh, that usually seems to be the cutoff. For Conduit 22, we had to have a four-way play-in between players that had six points. Five points not cutting it. We'll see if Meds can get this point back from Chef Mayhem. Tie it up one to one. like both of our racers are typing their uh, seed in manually, making it a little more personal, getting to know the numbers before we uh, enter into the crypt, trying to see what will become. Hopefully not the ring of becoming, unless, you know, transmutes right next to it. Get that Wanda! Med's got the, uh, the Steam overlay up. Please don't spam Meds with Steam messages. That would be terrible. Just trying to focus on this race. We should be getting a countdown here soon. What's really fun about these races, too, uh, in the... In the uh, Discord server, they ha uh, the racers have their own personal room for it, and um, they can discuss what happened last seed. If they're feeling nervous, they can both, you know, uh, kind of confide in each other that dang racing's hard, <laughs> which it definitely is. But uh, it's usually when you see these little breaks in between these races, what's going on. Or if they're having technical issues, they can alert each other there. Yes, don't poke the bear. <laughs> Ranger Sour Tea. Letting us know the rules of the woods. And before uh, this race started today, uh, Meds was having a few internet issues, so that might also be the problem here, but... Always good to take a nice little break in between races. This is one of my favorite songs by uh, Jake Kaufman, Vert. Sticks and Stones 4-1 Remix. Real good. <laughs> Swag is messaging uh, meds. Yeah, Shovel Knight's pretty good, too. It's all right. I haven't played Shantae or Sour Tea. I've watched a lot of people play it. I didn't know uh, Bert did that. That's pretty cool. I'm going to just regenerate here. So why does VLC have a cone as its, like, thing? <laughs> Feels like a weird icon to get, or maybe that's just the Windows icon that's given to it. I don't know. Feels like an awkward choice.
<laughs> That's not true at all, Chef. We're all here to watch you guys race. It's for all VLC? Huh. Interesting. I know nothing about internets. <laughs> That's a perfect explanation, Reiji. If anyone is just joining the stream, we are having some a few technical difficulties over on Meds' side. They just want to make sure their interwebs are functioning properly and normally. We're waiting a bit while they check that out. But Tuesday of Conduit of Conduit 23, that's where we're at right now. Um, we will have some more races throughout the week. You can check the schedule. I just posted it in chat. Uh, it looks like we have another race about an hour and a half. After, well, probably an hour after this one once it completes. Uh, it'll be Reggie versus Asher Rose. That should be a good one. Barn Burner. Oh, we're going. Oh, my God. I got the, uh, I got the timer off. <laughs> and then after that, about an hour after that one, it'll be Jaguar Nick versus Chef Mayhem again. We'll get to see Chef Mayhem do multiple races today. Both of our racers on 1-1 one, one find the black chest. It's leather armor. We're getting some defense up here, and there is also a cracked wall here. Hoping for that early blood shop. Med's getting a nice value bomb, taking out the uh, dire bat in one go. And there was a shovel of courage in there, so Meds is going to pick that up without hesitation. Uh, Chef is going to pass it, uh, just going to keep the bomb and uh, move into 2 1 or 1 2, but uh, Meds is going to have a clear advantage with that, that shovel. Chef Mayhem going to farm up some leprechaun here, even going to milk it for that juicy, juicy gold. Ooh, and on 1 3 red chest, Meds finds a grenade charm. So a nice little boost to the offense there. And Meds is going to uh, do a little bit of searching here. Finds a, an arena with quite the interesting arena. I had, I think it was a glass axe. Um, ring of regen and then the spike gears. Uh, Meds took the ring of regen but got lost or confused with uh, the blood nightmare covering up that black knight and uh, goes down. So Chef Mayhem's gonna have a little bit of an advantage here. Looks like Chef Mayhem's gonna use this Shrine of Pain. We'll be able to hit it five times with this White Skeleton. Uh, only does four, though. Okay, maybe didn't want the, um, the, uh, Courage. And was gonna just heal up with the cheese, but with, uh, the other items that the Shrine of Pain dropped, uh, we'll be able to keep the cheese. Uh, Chef Mayhem found a, a Rapier, uh, and a Heal Spell. So nice little build there. Meds is going to pass up on the uh, shovel this time, the Shovel of Courage, and just picks up the Golden Spear instead. Looking for some swaggy gold kills. But is already back on to 1-2. And Meds looking to get some revenge in this arena, and manages to do it just fine, getting that Ring of Regen again. Chef Mayhem is down to your zone one boss first. It's King Kanga. With no bomb, uh, we're gonna have to take out the Kanga line. Very easy to do with a uh, 
two space attack weapon with the rapier or the um, the spear, so it shouldn't be a problem for either of our racers. This takes a little bit longer than it would to uh, bomb the throne. All's victory for Chef. And King Kong uh, is started over on Med side. Chef checking the black chest, and it's a blood cat, so not really that big of an upgrade for either of our racers. Uh, we'll see if Med saw that and takes the uh, purple chest instead. But there's the conga line cleanup for Meds, getting the swaggy gold kill on uh, on King Kanga. Oh, Chef Mayhem bathing in fire from that dragon going down to one heart, but has that heal spell. Meds checking the black chest too and did not want that blood cat either. Both fire racers finding a bunch of bombs on... Uh, Zone 2 here, this is the zone where you like to find the bombs, and Med's using one really well there to do some extra damage to that dragon, but also did some fire bathing too, going down to one heart, but it'll be alright with that ring of regen. Both fire racers digging correctly through the walls here, looking for the exit, using proper Zone 2 mapping strats, what we like to see. I was just gonna say that, Sivir, uh, that, uh, shrine of, uh, the rhythm shrine there would change our players' uh, builds to Obsidian, and with uh, Chef Mayhem and Obsidian Rapier is quite the upgrade. Both our racers finding a conjure shop on 2-3 uh, here. Uh, Meds conjured some armor and a pickaxe, getting the heavy, or the light heavy plate. Swag a suit. Uh, looks like Chef Mayhem did uh, a headpiece and a ring, getting uh, the glasses for plus one damage, and got the shield, uh, the shielding ring there, and had to use it almost immediately after exiting there, uh, getting hit by a Golem. So, ring didn't last too long. Meds is gonna fight a red dragon again. <laughs> Tanks uh, uh, some more fire. Meds needs to move, getting uh, hit by some pollen there, and uh, Meds going down to that dragon, getting stomped. Meds getting stuck between a purple mushroom and a red dragon. Not really a place you like to find yourself. Chef Mayhem does clean up the Zone 2 boss. It was Death Metal. Did not get a flawless victory, so it's going to be continuing on to Zone 3 with uh, the same build as Zone 2. Chef doing some slow play here, checking the uh, shop. Doesn't find anything they like it and is going to move on. Ooh, finds a uh, peace shrine here. Going to blow it up for the uh, ring of peace. I like that play. Um, having a, a, a zone, two zone advantage here. Chef uh, can reduce the enemy uh, difficulty with the uh, ring of peace. Get that extra heart. Do a little slow play. Oh, say, oh no, Chef Mayhem getting caught on some ice and sliding into a, a black nigget riding a skeletal horse. They hit so hard. We're having a full reset here. Meds picked up some floaty boots somewhere. I don't know if that was intentional, but that's going to be a, a help with some defense, I think. Looks like Meds uh, just decided to kill or buy the uh, blood shop items here, having the uh, gold spear and uh, trouble of courage. Chef Mayhem doing some shopping on 1-1 one, one here. Finds a ring of piercing, but that's going to be way too expensive for anything to do in 1-1. Uh, one, one. We're going to be trying this seed again. And so what's what's interesting, uh, when both racers die, we like to see either if they're close enough, we'd like to see a pushback. But now that we're pretty much reset, you're seeing both of our racers doing a little bit more exploring in zone one here, trying to find some build variation to make sure like a death doesn't happen again. Or maybe you find, you know, the Obsidian Warhammer just hanging out on one, two and totally make a difference in how you're going to do your run. Chef Mayhem going to use this Shrine of Pain again. We'll see if they do it all five times. Does not look like it. And um, 
Also, during a run back, it's really important to... Did Metz use a, a fear scroll there? <laughs> that dragon was moving real awkward. Um, we see which racers are paying attention to where the exits are in the zone. And um, if they can optimize their direction. To oh no, Meds! Meds used a fear spell in the uh, the trapdoor arena, which pisses off the conga line. They hate that. <laughs> that was like 30 red zombies just coming for Meds. <laughs> yeah, don't don't use your don't use fear scrolls during uh, conga fights. <laughs> it's really funny when it happens, but not when you're trying to race. <laughs> Cause it gets it gets all the uh, the conga line off of the conga line and you ruined all the fun. They're trying to just you know da 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 da. Hey, and then it's just like ah, there's fear scroll, run. Now we don't have to run and now we're angry at the bear. <laughs> all right, uh, so Meds will be starting over here. It does milk the uh, leprechaun before moving on. It's like Chef is gonna do the same thing. And we'll be moving down to that conga fight. Mayhem's gonna use that grenade charm that uh, Meds has been skipping ever since she found it first to get uh, Kanga off the throne. But Kanga being protected by the conga line here. But Mayhem's finally gonna get that flawless victory. We're gonna see a black chest peak. It is the, it's the blood, the blood cat, isn't it? So maybe Chef will, yeah, gonna pick it up this time. Ooh, Med's taking a big hit from that red dragon in the conga fight again. Lots of red dragons on the seed. Um, one uh, after 1-3, one, you see uh, one here for Mayhem just defeated on 2-1, and then there was the, uh, I think it was the 2-3 Red Dragon that killed Meds earlier. And it looks like Meds is going to have to reset again here. Still not out of it yet. Just needs to do a little bit of a focus here, and uh, we'll be able to catch up to Mayhem. Uh, Mayhem's not going the quickest either, and we saw that. A death in zone three happened, so. Never know how difficult zone four might be. Oh, the Family Jewels, Steinway to hell. Uh, Family Jewels just released uh, his remix of the Conductor fight and the Frankensteinway fight, and it's amazing. I can't even sour, please. <laughs> but Matt's gonna do some similar, uh, some similar farming here, getting uh, that Ring of Regen again, a really nice pickup. You wanna take that along for most of your runs. Mayhem gonna do a little bit of shopping here, finds uh, some boots of strength, and the Ring of Mana might be looking to get it, but uh, does not have anywhere close to near enough money. Um, would pair really nicely with that heal spell. And Meds is back down to the conga fight just as Mayhem gets into a death metal fight in zone 2. Flawless victory for Chef Mayhem. Looks like Meds will clean up a flawless victory here too. Nope, uh, Henry got in the way there. So no flawless victory for Meds. Henry the Red Bat in the Zone 1 conga fight. And here's another Red Dragon for Meds, using that bomb really efficiently there to take it out. But getting splashed by some more mushrooms. Meds getting caught between uh, dragons and mushrooms, this, uh, this seed.
But Mads is moving through this zone two here. Gonna use, try to use a big bomb, well, a regular bomb, on this big dark golem, but ends up just using a gold kill. Take it down in two hits. And you do see uh, Mayhem doing some slow play here, which I do like to see. Uh, Mayhem checking their shops, finds uh, some health, some armor. A jeweled dagger doesn't pick up. Oh, it has quartz armor. I couldn't tell with uh, uh, Mayhem's sprite. And using a bomb to take out the mini boss there, or a grenade. And there's a shop you like to see by Mayhem. You can just buy that ring and uh, steal the rest. Get your uh, ring of peace back. Don't even have to kill the shopkeeper. Good play by Mayhem there. Getting the heavy plate and the map. And Meds is down to the death metal fight. Has to take out that red dragon that killed her earlier. Uses a gold kill for the extra swag. And Mayhem's down to the Fortissimo fight for zone three. And Mayhem has quite a complete build here. Might be looking for a better weapon, but uh, three damage blood dagger is pretty all right too. Having three damage with uh, the boots of strength and uh, the sunglasses. Uh, Mayhem didn't even get a flawless victory against Fortissimo, so it doesn't have the option to look for anything. Looks like Meds is getting a little spooked here in zone three, letting uh, the goblins come to come to the bear to get wrecked. But Meds finding that uh, that uh, peace shrine here is gonna bump it and then uh, blow it up. We're gonna see a dagger here for Meds, and it's the dagger of phasing. So maybe not the dagger Meds was looking for, but definitely an upgrade over that golden spear. And here's where I'd like to see Mayhem start pushing on the gas. Um, having so much armor, so much damage, and ways to heal themselves. Now, now it's, it's a good time to smash face. Seven grenades, you can open up your uh, zone four mini boss room, just huck a grenade in there and you're good. One of my favorite things to do with it. And now you're gonna see some seed variants uh, over on Meds' side. After blowing up that shrine apiece, uh, she absolutely had a different shop there in 3-2 than Mayhem had. I believe Mayhem's had like a jewel dagger and armor in there. But Med's finding some cookies in there. Tasty treat. What a swarm at this mini boss exit for meds here, but cleans it up just fine going down to 3-3. Three, three. Gonna check the shop right nearby here. Okay, so the only, oh no, 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 meds. Oh, she didn't have enough money. Meds only had one bomb there. Maybe thought she had two, but meds could have uh, easily farmed up some money and did the same ring trick that Mayhem did. It's interesting, the seed variance there, it, it, it moved the items around and then changed the map into a compass. <laughs> Not enough murder money. <laughs> but this is gonna be a real uh, easy way forward for Mayhem here. Should be able to get, do the rest of the seed just fine, but did get hit twice by that, uh, that mummy. Gonna eat some food, pick up some cheese that was left on the ground. Ground cheese. Now it's good enough. Look at all these goo and traps Mayhem has to deal with before exiting uh, this floor. Gonna check the red chest on the way, get a monkey paw, so for some frozen monkeys. Mayhem's down to your zone four boss, that's Coral Riff. We'll see a grenade use here to get Coral Riff off the top line. Whoa! <laughs> Can't throw, <laughs> didn't throw it far enough. A misplay there by Mayhem, but does get the flaws victory. Ed's getting the same build as earlier in zone one here. The golden spear, leather armor. Bring a regen. This time does pick up the grenade charm though. And 
I am doing some more soul playing here. Finds a pulse scroll and some extra health. I'm gonna switch off the blood cat for uh, the electric dagger. Uh, it's fine. Um, they might be more comfortable with daggers, but I really like the uh, the three damage cat plus healing. We're gonna take out this 5-1 dragon in one hit. That's one nice thing about the electric dagger. If you're standing on the conduit in zone five, it will do uh, like infinite damage to enemies. So you can one hit earth dragons with it. Makes it real effective. Red's getting a flawless victory on the King Kanga. Opens the purple chest to find a fireball spell. Really good find there. Oh wow, Mayhem finding a food shop on 5-2, and it's the best food shop you can get. Uh, two full hearts, uh, a ham, so Med's, or Mayhem's gonna have more than a heartthrob here, getting full 10 hearts. But that is literally the best. The only thing that could make that shop better was if there was a secret shop above it with heavy plate in it or something. But that's like really the best you can ask for. Mayhem going down to 5-3. Trying to finish out this seed here. And Med's taking the trap door down to 5-3. Nope, down to the, the zone 2 boss. Excellent use of grenade to take out that red dragon before going into death metal. Oh, but Med skipped a beat during death metal, so no flawless victory here. Mayhem gonna do some lure strats on Dead Ringer. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, taking a few hits, but nothing wrong with that either. Having heavy plate and 10 hearts plus some cheese. Didn't be too much of a problem. But no flawless victory. Going down to the Necker Dancer fight. Has enough grenades, has the bomb spell to take out the stage, so no butts will be touched. Is Dorian Monk or something? I can't tell on Mayhem's side. It just looks like a really tall monk. Ah, oh, dear. Waffles, thank you for the host. <laughs> Thought I had that turned off, but I don't. I'm fat monk. Is that what it is? Fat monk? Two more hits for uh, Mayhem on that side. Let me turn off my alerts. I thought I had him turned off from yesterday. I don't know. But Mayhem's going to take this loot over uh, Meds. Longer seed there. A few deaths by both of our racers. But GG's all around. We'll see if Meds can take a little break here and pull ahead and get, uh, get one loot. Off of uh, Mayhem. But thank you for the host, Sir Waffles. Appreciate it. Alright, it should be disabled. Should be. Streamlabs, please. Alright. Loot for Mayhem. Looks like we got our next seed already. Being punched in on Med's side. Right, looks like we want to get into this next race right away. I'd really like to see Meds pull out a point here, but Mayhem's going to try to lock this up. Get three points moving on into uh, the next race. Later today against Jaguar Nick. You can check the schedule uh, on when the next races will be. I have posted the link in chat. We do have a few more today yet, and there will be more throughout the week. And then finishing out the week, uh, the uh, tournament over on Elad Difficult's channel. And we're off. 1-1 one, one Black Chest. Uh, and it's the worst. It's the uh, the base broadsword. The worst thing you'll see in that chest, IMO. 
But there is a blood shop right next to it, so we'll see what's in there. Ooh, golden axe. That's pretty good. Um, along with some armor. Looks like Meds is going to try to kill for it, but does not get the RNG needed for it. We'll see if she tries that again. Looks like Mayhem's going to try the same thing here. Does not get the RNG for it, so we're going to have a reset on both sides. And Meds is going to try a second time here against the Blood Shopkeeper. Oh, Blood Shopkeeper going 2-0 and over Meds. We'll see Mayhem's try again here. And Mayhem getting the good RNG for uh, boss here. <laughs> the boss. It might as well be a boss. Blood Shopkeeper. Med's not going to deal with it this time. Just buy, straight up buys uh, the items. She wants getting that golden axe and um, chain mail. And now we'd like to see both of our racers use this uh, gold weapon to their advantage. Uh, we saw Meds using the Golden Spear really well during the last uh, race, getting uh, a couple of gold kills on the way. And there's a good one by Chef Mayhem, too. Gold weapons have the perk of if uh, you move onto a pile of gold, your next attack will have infinite damage. And when you're sweeping along with uh, an axe, you can kill... Three pretty high uh, HP enemies. Ooh, a boss shrine on 1-3. Um, but no bomb for meds to uh, get the bonus uh, the bonus armor charm. We might see meds look around here for a bomb. Uh, Mayhem finding this shrine too doesn't have any way to do uh, the bomb strat here either. So we might actually see both our racers skip this. Med's gonna check up the shop, finds a base axe, a uh, titanium shovel, and the key. It's gonna pick up the titanium shovel for a little upgrade there. Mayhem going into the same shop is gonna do the same thing. Rip key. And Meds is gonna continue on uh, to the mini boss room. Gonna skip some trap doors. Finds a red chest here. That could have a blast helm in it. Nope. Just a, a drumstick. A condor drumstick. A conduit drumstick? What does that look like? And there you see Meds doing a really nice gold kill there. Taking out the Minotaur in one dunk. Ooh, Mayhem taking a hit. That armor helping them out, keeping them alive. And uh, Death Metal is going to be your zone one boss. Uh, looks like Meds was trying to line up a gold kill there. And there it is. Flawless victory for Meds. Well done. Checking the purple chest. Finds a fireball scroll. Really good find for Meds. Using it to kill some enemies, open a barrel, and get some cookies. Well done. Uh, Mayhem down to the Death Metal fight. We'll see if... Uh, looks like... Oh... Mayhem skipped a beat. It looks like it may have been trying to line up the uh, the blood drum kill, but got a little bit confused with the um, ghosts coming in. No flaws victory for Mayhem. Meds did some shopping, found a monocle in the Explorer boots. Monocle's a really nice headpiece to find early on because uh, you can kind of make your build from it. Uh, you can see into all of your uh, boss chests. Um, it kind of gives you a little bit of pseudo mapping because it'll be like, oh, hey, there's a chest over here. Um, maybe you should go that way. You can see right there, uh, Meds sees the bombs, sees that strength charm in the barrel she's gonna wanna pick up. Using the fireball to open it, now has a two damage uh, ax, which is what you're really looking for on a base or um, blood or golden ax. You wanna get that, that damage boost, but Taking a big hit from a Dark Golem, Meds down to uh, one heart, gonna eat some cookies. Mayhem uh, has a chance to find uh, that barrel here too, I believe. Gonna kill the Leprechaun first. Let's see if Mayhem finds that uh, strength, t strength, strength torch? Or is that on a different floor? Might have been on a different floor. Ooh, Meds gonna switch off of the Golden Axe to get a Titanium Rapier. So a uh, three damage Rapier, five damage on the lunge.
Oh yes, Mayhem picked up the monocle too, so is absolutely going to see that uh, that torch. But Mez, uh, Meds, one of uh, one of the uh, Necro Dancer players that has been around for a little bit, might be a little more comfortable with the pre DLC weapons here, the rapier over the axe, using a fireball to take out your Zone Two boss for Tissimol. And here's where the monocle is really great again. You can see each one of those chests sees which one they want to pick up and goes for the purple and gets a ring of regen, a really nice addition to, to their build. And there's Mayhem finding that titanium rapier too. He's going to pick it up as well. No love for the axe from these racers. And uh, Meds is going to be looking to push the lead here in 3-1 over Mayhem. Okay, so Mayhem finding a uh, Blood Shrine here is going to blow it up for the Ring of Regen. This is going to change Mayhem's purple chest uh, in the next boss fight here, so I'm curious to see what we'll see. Med's using uh, the Fireball spell really well there to take out the uh, Frost Dragon. Just some two easy hits, and Mayhem did get that flawless victory, so in the chest, ooh, it's a Ring of Courage. Gonna pass that up, keep the, uh, the regen. And Mayhem doing some more slow play here, um, or maybe seeing what Meds is doing and just following the pattern. Uh, getting those two extra heart containers. It, it's a nice pickup with the uh, Ring of Regen because they are going to get healed eventually. But Chef Mayhem might just be waiting to uh, for the right moment to take over Meds. Meds finding a compass and a torch of walls, but uh, going to keep the strength torch here. Looking to move down into your zone 3 boss, but taking a few hits on the way. Does have ham in tow though, so feeling a little bit safe. Uh, your zone 3 boss is going to be Deep Blues. And Med's doing an excellent Falls victory, getting the lunge damage on the rapier. There's the Ring of Courage for uh, Meds, but going to check the black chest for uh, the Scrag suit. Monocle doing some heavy lifting there again. Showing uh, Meds what to take. Mayhem is down to half a heart. Dangerous time for uh, Mayhem. Must have taken a few hits here, but gets bailed out. Finds that barrel ham that uh, I'm assuming Meds had picked up earlier. Meds finding uh, a shovel of courage in the 4-1 the, uh, shop here. So that's going to be a nice advantage going into zone 5. And another blue dragon for Meds, gonna take it out the same way she did the other one. Two fireballs to the face. Really nice use of uh, spells there by Meds. And that's something that the uh, Ring of Regen really allows you to do. Um, you know you're gonna get your health back once you enter those stairs, so why not just blood fireball your mini boss? Make it real simple and easy for you. Meds did take the time there to get the Leprechaun as well. I like that play. Um, zone 4 is, can be real nasty if you get a lot of black bats flying around you yeah, and having a quite a bit of a lead over Mayhem, it's a, it's a good play. Mayhem finally down to that zone 3 boss and Meds is going to try to push this lead here. Did get another bomb there, so has 3 bombs for the Necker Dancer fight. Oh, Meds having some problems with Telemonkeys though. Being teleported uh, across the room here, but going to use the fireball spell again. Really nice play. And uh, get out of 4-2, going down to 4-3. No flaws victory for Mayhem after that deep blues fight, so moving down to zone 4, the same build. <laughs> oh no, Med's getting uh, hit by a wall pig and kissed from a pixie at the same time. 
all of the emotions all in one square <laughs> but mez is uh in zone four uh, the zone four boss it's core riff looks like we're gonna see a bomb to get core riff off the top line and then probably a fireball actually yep fireball and then lunge that'll do it mayhem down to four two uh, Meds is going to check the uh, boss chests here, but doesn't really see anything they like, so going to keep going on to zone 5 here. Going to keep that ham for some extra safety. And he's looking to take that dead ringer and a necrodancer out. And can really tank some uh, hits here too with that ring of regen and uh, squega suit. The light heavy plate. The light plate? <laughs> The light heavy plate makes no sense. <laughs> but Med's doing a good job staying on the conduit until finding uh, the exit room here. Compass helping a lot there. Using two fireballs on the Earth Dragon to take it out. Well done. Really impressed by Med's use of uh, the fireball spell. Mayhem taking a bunch of hits in that in that room, going back down to half a heart. Ooh, and having to deal with a blood dragon or a blood nightmare, that's not really what you want to see. But does get uh, the kill and a pixie kiss. It's a little less worrisome for mayhem. But Meds is down to the dead ringer fight. We have a left side spawn, so it looks like we're going to see another Japanese strat from Meds. Well done, flawless victory. We'll have a peek at the, uh, peek at the chests. Yep. Nothing great in it, though. And this looks like it's going to be a, a clean win for Meds. Getting a full zone advantage over uh, Mayhem to close out this, uh, this race, this match. Bomb Charm taking out most of that stage. Poor Necker Dancer worked so hard to build up that green stage. Get the dancing skeletons on it, the statues playing the loot. It's going to be two hits on the Necker Dancer for Meds. Looks like Meds is keeping uh, Dorian very far away from the fight. Keeping him nice and safe. One more hit for Meds, and it's going to be uh, the loot going to Meds here. Oh, dear. Uh, getting confused. Taking a lot of hits there. Uh, does eat the ham, though, so doing okay. And there's the kill and the win for Meds. Sub-13 race time, 11.51 in-game. GG. Really impressed that Meds was able to bring that 